got the user asking for uh, a Studio One demo and how to set it up. So let's do that for you with the UI24 for recording and playback. Basically, we want to configure the audio device first of all. So we would go here, make sure it's a Soundcraft USB audio, make sure it's 48K. Sample rate will depend on uh, the, uh, sorry, the sample buffer will depend on the speed of your uh, computer as well. Uh, here I'm set at five milliseconds, quite low, quite quick as far as that's concerned. And then we would go to basically to, um, I would set up a new song and let's make it simple and select a band recording, for example. Okay. And then it might tell me that it's the song set in their template is 44.1 and the device is 48 kilohertz. And it uh, in Studio One, it'll, it'll automatically revert the actual uh, template to 48 kilohertz. So now in Studio One, basically you select the inputs of the channels on top here and the outputs are selected on the output buses, on the main output bus itself, as far as that's concerned. So if I want to input vocal one, if I go into my uh, UI interface, okay, and that's obviously coming in channel 11, or I've got the master is one and two. If I select number 11 as my input here, okay, and uh, I can do that by clicking on 11 here, and Studio One won't show you level straight away. You hit the record and now I can see level going in to 11 and out one and two. Uh, and to hear that, normally you would select, I've got channel five as I did before in another video, having door eight back. So let's, for example, go into this section here and select output seven and eight. And then if we go back into the UI interface, now you will see that there's level coming into here as well. Um, now, if we want to see what, uh, add some effects in real time to it, this has some room reverb added and some delay added to it. And you can add obviously other inserts in Studio One as you wish. And, and we could hear that quite easily. If I click on here and I put this up now, you can hear the reverb and delay coming back. Now, if I wanted to insert that specifically on the channel itself, all I would do is select the output here going to output 11 and not to the main output. I can add a bus channel or a um, group output to it. And, and that way go back into the UI 24 as an insert. If we wanted to add it as an insert itself, you could do the same with auxiliary sense. So if you have monitor routes, you just select an output for the monitor out to, for them to go out to uh, and a monitor in from the UI 24 as you know, it's channels two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, sorry, not two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 are your eight auxes, one and two are your master, and then 11 to 32 are your channels. So it's really very straightforward. And then, so basically if the input one is uh, is your kick, or input two is your snare, then you, know, you would start inputs here, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and so on and so forth. Um, and it, if you want to use it then for playback, you do not need to do uh, any patching in the, in the UI24 for recording, as you know that, because all the output of each channel is automatically patched already. You don't have to do any um, um, patching at all for outputs from the UI24. I can add another bus here, for example. Uh, we can call that up. We can call that another, let's say, uh, that's input, uh, let's do one and two. So that, that'll be my master recording. So now I'm recording my master input left channel. I'm recording an input from my uh, channel itself, vocal on its own. So it's a mix and a channel, and I'm going out to seven and eight here as well. Uh, you can apply effects, as we said, when you play back audio from here, all you need to do is make sure that on the UI 24, okay, you just select the actual patching for door and select which input from the door you want to play on the channel. So really all the pieces of software don't really matter too much as far as that's concerned. It's just about patching inputs. You do not need to patch outputs.